the DGX Spark came out and there's so much confusion. And I, I really think it's this $4,000 price point. I mean, that is a, you know, it's not cheap, right? But it is palatable for the individual hobbyist or individual developer to say, hey, you know, you came out with something with 128 gigabytes of coherent unified system memory. Now, before that, the most powerful consumer thing that you could buy from NVIDIA is that 5090 I got behind me. I, technically the A6000, sure, um, but I don't know a lot of people that went out and bought that. Anyway, the 5090 has 32 gigabytes, so it's a quarter of the size. And there are limitations for me when I'm playing around with models, I'm fine tuning them, and I also have my MacBook Pro in front of me, which is a very, very top weapon of choice for software developers and ML developers. You wanna build on Unix system, you don't wanna use Linux, Mac OS is fantastic. And by the way, I, I even know people that work at like the OEMs that make their own laptops and they're data scientists and developers. Guess what? They also use MacBook Pros. So that's what's causing confusion. So you got this gentleman here says not a single YouTuber has received the spark um, compared it to a 14 inch MacBook Pro with 40 cores, 120 gigabytes of, of memory because of this bandwidth bottleneck MacBook Pro. I'm getting 546 gigabytes a second and the DGX Spark only 273 gigabytes a second. And there's a whole bevy of uh, posts to this effect. And I think partly, perhaps, NVIDIA didn't necessarily do a great job at the marketing aspect. And I think maybe they acquiesced to it a little bit. Like, hey, we'll let individuals who can add to cart and buy this kind of come to their own conclusions if the individual hobbyist is going to buy it. So be it. However, that is not the use case that this thing is for. What it's really for is for optimization of AI inference solutions on the NVIDIA full stack. I can build all day on this 5090 even or my MacBook Pro, but these models, like if you go here, we'll just go on Hugging Face, look at these training papers. All of these solutions are optimized on top of CUDA, not AMD Rockham, not Intel's One API. And this is again where NVIDIA has the moat. We keep them happy everyone you know nvidia was first to market and so when you are dealing with the complexity of taking a solution from poc or built on top of your computer and optimizing it it's incredibly incredibly difficult and we're just it's, it's we're not talking about the security aspects and the ml ops aspects and all that stuff we're talking specifically on optimizing a model on top of the hardware power is finite right and the less efficient you have this model and the more power you use because you're using all these CUDA cores and the VRAM's not optimized, the worse ROI in TCO you're gonna get. So NVIDIA comes out with the DGX Spark. You're gonna be building it on top of NVIDIA GPUs, whether it's on an on-prem infrastructure or it's in a cloud environment, you might as well go ahead and start your journey here. And so that's what I like about this paper um, of all the comparisons, DGX Spark versus Apple Mac Studio even, which AI workstation reigns supreme. And if you go all the way down here, the DGX Spark is a game changer for geo AI, large language models, AI ML applications, enabling research and developers to process um, large scale geospatial, textual, multimodal data sets with unprecedented efficiency. Even this LinkedIn post, which is a bit dated, but this individual clearly got the DGX Spark before a lot of folks. AI training speed, winner, spark, inference speed, spark. If you're building on NVIDIA, then the answer is very clear, it's the spark. If you're an individual hobbyist um, or you're with in some sort of research environment and you're not the person that's gonna optimize this on top of whatever like end architecture, then the MacBook Pro and maybe even the 5090 is fine. But let's be clear that the choice is based on where is this model going to end up? And POC to production is very difficult. So if you're going to be on NVIDIA hardware, you might as well start your journey on the Spark.